Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Back again, back from a little bit of headquarters in the cell room here. Um, we're doing another inside one because it is snowing again here on the homestead like a blizzard. We got probably, what do you say, this kitty, four to five inches? Yeah. Maybe six. Accumulating all the time. And they're supposed to be, I don't even think it's supposed to get above freezing tonight, so. Might be rolling around a boat in three days. I think three days, uh, 40 degrees. But anyway, I was going to go over some of the, uh, actually a friend of ours, pretty funny, stopped by yesterday um, to check on us. An 80-something year old man stops by to check on us. So, that was pretty cool. And he brought a few goodies. Brought a, you know, I don't, um, one of the things that I've raised my kids and me and kids, or me and Miss Kitty have raised our kids and stuff is, uh, you know, there's a difference in when somebody gives you something as a gift, um, we don't sell gifts, you know. Then when somebody gives me something, um, you know, to sell for them or gives me something, and all my the people that know me and stuff, I mean, you, I know when they're giving me, you know, like this right here. Freaking Uncle Rural threw this to me, literally. <laughs> across the yard when he was leaving one time because he knew I loved it and there ain't no amount of money this thing's worth about 350 bucks US Marine Corps and uh, there's no amount of money that's you know, it's a gift man and not only the, the heartfelt gift but I use it a lot especially when I'm doing twig and shake I just love it I know how to get back in there but anyway so now we'll go on to uh, um so let's show my show our knives first. We got some. Uh, I actually put these ones, a couple of these in the last video, but uh, the man, they're all done up. Miss Kitty's all beautified them. So first, I'm going to run over the numbers. So this is going to be one, two, three, and four. So we've got this uh, number one is the new style. You know, it's got a little bit of thing. Did you try this one out, Miss Kitty? Oh. Tested every single one of them. Every single one of them. Approved. Um, um, every oh, one. that's right. That's right. Miss Kitty put her uh, uh, stamp of approval on them. So that, uh, man, beautiful. Can you get it mm -hmm. good? Yep. So a little paring knife. And then we got this other little I just wild. happened to notice that you have those laid where you cannot see the mark that you place upon Oh, my, my signature. Knife. Yeah, because I had somebody saying something about yeah. my signature. Yeah, and he does sign so every... Do so my little tree, and I've actually used that tree mark for her. I don't know how long. I've actually, I used to mark my, uh, well, I still do, my twig chairs and furniture and stuff with Hold my... Hold up number three because that's, that shows up best in the camera, yeah. So that's my little... Yeah, it's not focusing. So here, the, right logo. here at the end is right there where you, tree. you mark some. All right, so now we're on number two. Mm -hmm. Number two, and I actually did a kind of a crazy cool little um, design. Excellent little paring knife. And then a larger paring knife. And this is more of the raven beak. And it's firm. And it's, yeah. it's solid. It's got a thicker. And then one that's gotten really popular, and this is Miss Kitty uses it all the time, is the little peeling knife, the eagle eagle claw peeling knife. So those are out. And all these, uh, this one's $14.99. The other three, one, two, and four, are $11.99 plus shipping and $14.99 plus shipping on those. And then, uh, it's going to show got another um, uh, horseshoe knife. A nice little, kind of a skinner, man, nice little horseshoe knife. This one's already, this is actually a birthday gift. So it's out. And then I got two more orders, so I'm actually going to be firing up the forge. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be ni or nicer tomorrow. So tomorrow, and I got two more to pound out. So if you want a railroad spike, um, drop us an email at Idaho Hillbilly to yahoo.com or they're on the pre-orders on uh, Etsy and eBay so then we'll get to some of this stuff uh, other stuff this right here um, if it actually if it fit me I probably would keep it it's actually a uh, it's got an actual size. 46 it says and a little mountain man leather style that what I really dig about it is look at these little they're like little uh, brass clasps on it. I'll kind of show you the inside, man. It's all real leather. Kind of a cool. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. Kind of 
kind of a cool little thing. The one thing I did notice on it is uh, there's some spot things that we've seen. Yeah, down there on the the pocket there on the right. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Like I'm a not sure. Of some yeah, some kind of splatter and stuff, and I ain't gonna try to clean it all up. Mm -hmm. Um, that if it had, you know, sleeves, I'd be, and it was my size, I'd be wearing it for sure. So, man, nice little mountain man vest. And he brought it down and gave it to me, and I actually thought I could make medicine bundles or something out of it. And I was like, no way, man. It's pretty cool. So we got that. I've got the um. Another smudge pod, as you can see. I guess my shade sage has just actually smudging back here. So I got another one of these. This one's on Etsy. This one is great color. Yeah, amazingly beautiful. We were actually hoping to start dealing in a little sage. Look at the coming through there. Mm -hmm. And just amazing. It's got the I don't know if you can get it on camera, but kind of a pink. When you say that, what color? Coral. Coral color. Coral color in the back. Well, you can't really yeah, see the Yeah, the color. Man, look mm -hmm. at how the abalone is coming yeah. through there so a little abalone shell smudge pot this is just amazingly beautiful if miss kitty wore necklaces more she'd probably just keep this this is an abalone shell and it's real real abalone shell you can tap it on your teeth and freshwater pearls and they're all real freshwater pearls and they're uh mother of pearl or mother of pearl mm -hmm. but they're still freshwater pearls right well, well, no, freshwater pearls are um, freshwater pearls out of well, a, right, a shellfish. Man. What are these, a stone? The, well, it looks like a oh, mo they, mother, mother of pearl, which would be made out of a, a shell. Only shell. That's, this yeah. is for sure. I yeah. thought these were like that necklace used to have that were the... Freshwater pearls. No, yeah, the, those aren't the pearls. shape of it, though. Yeah. Okay, so they're abalone shell things, man. I'm doing fall type diamond on it. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's an older, older, each one is on its own little wire thing, man, quality. Quality made little piece. Yeah, that's definitely something that requires up close pictures yeah, posted it's on. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so it'll be on eBay. Yeah. You can put that on eBay, mm -hmm. right? I, yeah. I don't know. One of the but one of those. And you look at the links at the bottom of the page. And I got this other little, I got another guy that wants a bigger bear claw. This is a smaller little black bear claw. You know, the guy me kicked off at Etsy. I'm back on the... <laughs> not I'm with, not putting them on no, there anymore. Right. That's if you, if you, uh, Idaho Hillbilly at Yahoo.com if, if you want pictures, up close pictures and that sort of thing. And then the, the bear skull never sold and my son for, might disown me if I sell it, so I'm just going to keep my bear skull for now. I mean forever until I give it to him. <laughs> and then these little, uh, look at these little hand card, man, the detail on these. They're just amazing. I guess they're for napkin holders. Man, they're both signed. We cannot make out the signatures. There's like a signature and a stamp. Signature's in pencil, and then there's a stamp on it. But, man, I don't know if you can get the detail. Miss Kitty will get the detail, and they'll be on eBay. Um, man, the guy's even got a kind of a, uh, um, got like one eyelid kind of, I mean, the detail is, you know, I'm a, I do a little whittling and stuff, but this, whoever carved these, man, is a, uh, one talented, talented guy. So we'll throw in a couple of these. This is something, if you're coming to Idaho, I got one, Miss Kitty. I'm born and raised here, both of us. And we use still, this is in with our hot springs, our mushroom books, and our foraging books that we wouldn't leave home without of on a road trip. You go through this book, and whatever highway or whatever byway or whatever you're on, you can look on here, and it tells you the history and the points of origin. And I mean, th this thing is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, your yeah, it's a must have. There. I mean, it's yeah. a, if you're going to come travel through Idaho, man, you have got to have one of these books. So yeah. And man, this one is in excellent condition. You should see mine. Man, yeah. it, it looks like an old wore out. You know, it's like the Idaho Bible, man. So you've got to have one of these. And then uh, this is a cool little kit or a set that's uh <coughs> it's got the set of three in a little box it's got the gunner's bible it's got the freshwater fisherman's bible and then it's got the camper's bible what the heck else in life more would you need <laughs> so, i mean you are set up and ready to go man get an idaho book and a whole bunch of Bible's on what to do out there, and man, you is good to go. And then you better throw that uh, 
this bottle's identification book, which uh -huh. I didn't even believe that I'm put oops putting on here. I have I have probably how I'd say six or eight bottle books that I still go to. Some of them are outdated. I think what did I say this was two thousand eight? Five, eight, I can't remember now. Let me see. Copyright two thousand eight. So it's, uh, which seems like yesterday, but it's actually a few years ago, but it don't matter on these books, man. I still look at one, man. I can show you one of the ones. I may sell a couple of mine later. But I got this one that I still use, man, just because of the reference. Look at that one, man. That's an oldie. You know, and I mean, this is one of my personal ones. And the thing is, is every book has different bottles, so you can never have too many uh, references and stuff, so... So there's a few uh, things, because other than I'm getting ready to go out and carve on some some wood handles, um, somebody's notes in there, but um, other than that, man, it's snowing to beat heck, and so I think we'll just go over and see the grandbabies. <laughs> no, we'll get it work out tonight. Nice. We'll probably stop by there on the way to the post office. So you all have a blessed day, and oh.